everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 13 of Boku no Hero Academia Season 3. So in this episode, they all move into the dorms, finally, all of them, and one class shares one dorm, and you know, girls get the right, boys get the left, and it's like, okay, what's gonna happen with this? And well, we get to see a lot of people's, you know, stylish choices, for instance, Yaozoru. <laughs> I thought hers was the funniest, honestly, she has a huge bed just occupying the whole room, and I was like, wow. <laughs> Second, I think Deku's was the best, because, uh, he just had, like, All Might everywhere, and I'm like, me, my room about anime, at least. <laughs> uh, me and Deku share that mentality of having, like, you know, our favorite objects around us in our rooms. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, Todoroki's was interesting. It was a Japanese-styled room, and I'm like, that's interesting. We didn't get to see Bakugo or Suyu's or Grape Head Boy, which I didn't want to see his at all, so I was like, good, they skipped over that. <laughs> but we saw a lot of interesting rooms, that's for sure. I was really wanted to see Suyu's room, though, because I'm like, well, she's kind of has this frog thing going on. Maybe she has like a water tank in there, you know? I don't know. I thought that would be interesting, but no, we never saw her room, so that was kind of disappointing. Ochako's was normal, pretty much. Um, that one guy had like, you know, the cake thing and he won. <laughs> like, that's funny. Um, so yeah, that was all interesting, and uh, t there was uh, just a lot of room showing, really, and um, yeah, great guy was really annoying. Again, every time he's there, he's just really annoying. I'm like, please stop. Why do you exist? You're supposed to be comedy relief, but you're not making me laugh. You're making me go, stop. <laughs> but after all, you know, all the rooms kind of just showed their personalities. You know, like Headphone Jack Girl, you know, being all the punk rock kind of room thing with all the instruments. Um, um, the Acid Girl's room was really, I liked Acid Girl's room. And I was like, oh, that's nice. And, you know, it fits her personality and, like, you know, her, I guess, style. I don't know. I just really liked it. And then seeing all the rooms, you know, and everything, it's just, it was very entertaining. But it's like, okay, what's the point of this episode, please? And so the point of this episode is, you know, for everyone to apologize. You know, that's kind of why they did it. You know, the ones who you know, not the people who say Bakugo, the other people who were like, you know, you shouldn't do that, especially Suyu, you know, being like, called them out saying, you know, you're just like those villains, and she cried, and I'm like, oh, Suyu, it's okay, it's okay, they forgive you, it's fine. So, now that they've all kind of reconciled, and you know, it's all okay now, so, yeah, that's pretty much this episode, and it was, it was good, it, you know, it's, it's nice to have that light-hearted episode after everything that happened previously, because, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, next episode, they gotta work on their quirks more, so that'll be fun. Um, they gotta do some ultimate moves, apparently, is what the title of the episode is called, or something like that. I'm like, hmm, okay, that's gonna be interesting, and, um, I was kind of sad that we didn't get to see Bakugo's room, though. It's just like, man, I don't want to see Bakugo's room. I want to know what's in Bakugo's room. I've been, you know, I have this feeling it's normal. I have this strange feeling that it's possibly normal. <laughs> Unlike Kitashiba's room, who was like, this is the manliest room or something like that. I'm like, <sighs> but anyway. Um, other than that, though, yeah, there wasn't too much to this episode. Again, just a lighthearted, you know, kind of chill episode with a little, you know, little bit at the end there. And uh, it was very interesting to see Deku's arm at the end. It has, like, this giant scar on it, like, right up here. And I'm like, oh. Oh, you poor boy. Uh, ugh. But uh, other than that, you know, let's just see what happens next. Because, you know, they got to work on the quirks now. So that'll be fun. But again, not much to this episode. It was enjoying. Um, it was enjoying. Yep, that's a sentence. That's English. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. So not much else to say about it. So what do you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in Wonder Fair Review next. Bye.